Hello everyone and welcome to my tutorial on how to configure your Dreamcast broadband adapter. Now unfortunately when you get your broadband adapter for your Dreamcast it doesn't just magically work. Uh, there is some configuration that you need to do first. Now this video tutorial is going to show you how to do that and also how to gather the information you need in order to configure it. So without further ado, here are the requirements for this tutorial. So first off, you're going to need a computer. And this is pretty obvious, but this tutorial covers specifically computers running Windows 7, Windows Vista, and Windows XP. You're also going to need XDP browser. Now this will work with other uh, Dreamcast web browsers, but I'll just be covering XDP in this tutorial because it is the easiest to acquire. All right, so before we actually get into setting up the hardware and configuring it, we'll need to gather some information about your home network first. Uh, so in order to do this, you'll need a computer with Windows 7, Windows Vista, or Windows XP. Uh, you can do this with other operating systems as well, but I'll only be covering those three in this tutorial. Uh, so first thing you need to do is go to the Start menu and type in CMD. If you're using Windows XP, you'll need to go to Start and click run and type in CMD and then tap enter on the keyboard. So once you do that you should see a window like this which is the command line. So just type in IPCONFIG IPConfig space forward slash all and tap enter. So once you do that you should see a bunch of information like this. So just scroll up until you see something like wireless LAN adapter, wireless network connection if you're using a wireless connection. If you're connected using a wired connection you should see something like Ethernet adapter local area connection. But below those you will see all the information you need. Uh, so you need to write down the following. You need to write down the subnet mask, the default gateway, and the DNS servers. Uh, you only need the top two. So once you get all that information written down, we will be all set to move on to the next step. Okay, so now that we have all the information we need, we're now ready to configure the broadband adapter. So in order to do this, I'm using XDP Browser. If you don't have it, you can download it from the link in the video description below. Uh, but once you have this booted up on your Dreamcast, click on Original User Agent. Once everything is loaded up, you can go up to the top and click on the Options button. Once you're at the Options page, you can go over and down to Network Info. And on Information Setup, go over to BBA and tap A on your controller. On IP Address, go over to Manual, tap A again. Here you need to put in an IP address for your Dreamcast. Uh, the first three numbers in the IP address need to be the same as your default gateway. And the last number, I'm putting 99. And that should work for most people. Uh, for subnet mask, put in the same number that you wrote down earlier. And right below that, put in your default gateway. So once you have that in, go down and tap A on OK, and go down and over to Forward, tap A again, and here you'll see the DNS uh, server boxes. You can type in the DNS addresses that you wrote down earlier. Once you have that in, go down and over to Forward, and you, you're going to want to tap Forward a few times here and just leave everything blank. And once you're at this page, click on the OK button under Store Password, and tap OK again. And click Forward on this page, which should say everything has been saved to your console, and go down to OK, and go down to Save. So now you're all set to test out the connection. So in order to do that, go down to the URL button, click on that, and type in a web page address such as google.com. Tap OK. And go over to Yes when prompted. 
and if everything goes well you should see the page that you typed in. And that concludes my tutorial on how to configure your Dreamcast broadband adapter. I hope this video helped a lot of you out in getting online on your Dreamcast and being able to do some online Dreamcast gaming with PSO and uh, Quake 3 Arena. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to ask, uh, but the best place to get support would be to go to the Dreamcast Talk Forums. I'll put a link to that in the video description, but a lot of the members out there are really helpful and would be glad to help you out with any problems you have. Uh, but anyway, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have, please comment, rate, subscribe. Thanks for watching.